We're with Michelle Cowan at Victor George Callis Oval. Michelle, we just had the female rookie trial. Take us through what happened today. Yeah, great day for us. We had our first trial uh, looking for those rookie spots that may be taken up by uh, one of the participants today. So we had a number of testing happening on the courts here and, and then also a two kilometre time trial out on the oval and, and some football skills and some, some game sense as well. Take us through what the definition of a rookie is in the AFL women's. Yeah, this is for somebody that hasn't played AFL uh, before or if they're under the age of 21 years of age as well. So uh, we had over 121 girls nominate for today. Uh, through a process with our recruitment staff, we uh, cut that down to 21 girls who all showed up today and, and we're really pleased with the level of talent that came through uh, today. It's going to make our decisions moving forward really difficult, um, but we're excited to be in that position. It's the second year of running this trial. How's the standard compared to last year's? Yes, yeah, significantly increased, and I think that's AFLW. It, uh, it's given girls um, something to really aspire to, and we've seen the growth of AFL for women in WA in particular grow significantly in the last 12 months, and, and that's attributed to the AFLW competition. So uh, the talent coming through and the girls putting their hand up to be part of our footy club uh, has been exceptional, and I'm excited about what we saw today. So we've got three spots in our list for rookies, but based on the standard, we could take even more than three. Yeah, we've got 10 spots left on our list. So even if they qualify uh, under the rookie, I guess, schedule, we can still have them on our main list uh, as well um, uh, moving forward. So yeah, the 10 spots are, are there to be filled and we could have filled them today potentially. So take us through how you were testing them today. Yeah, initially it started uh, on the basketball courts. We had a, a sprint, uh, we had agility testing, we had a jump testing, uh, we also uh, a height and everything like that around the profile of a player. Uh, from there the, the girls had a bit of a break, went out to the football field for a two kilometre time trial, which we have, I guess, benchmarks that we like to achieve uh, through that testing. Uh, and then into some football skill testing and, and game sense uh, uh, drills where we can get a bit better of a look for um, how the footy sits in the girls' hands and, and their skills that they do have as well. So I guess the testing component from the, the time trial and the sprinting is a really small component that we do look at. And it's really important that we get a good indication as, as how these girls are as footballers um, with a footy in their hand and, and, and playing the game. And I guess overall it's a real pressure test because these girls are, you know, they're fighting for a spot to play for an AFL club. Yeah, there's going to be over, you know, there's hundreds and hundreds of girls that want to be on our list here and um, we've got to be really vigilant with who, who gets a spot on our list and we'll do our due diligence along the way and make sure we get the right fit for the footy club, a right fit for the, the team uh, and also making sure, you know, across the game, you know, whether it's key position players that we need, uh, key ruck um, or an on-baller that we need to make sure that we tick the boxes and, and get the right people. Notice a few of the Frio girls were down here as well and I'm sure you had your full recruiters and assistant coaches here too. Yeah, oh look the girls, um, this is their facility so um, a couple of them working out uh, behind me in, in the gym. Um, they're here on the weekends working really half, hard on their strength and uh, their physical ability and, and their football ability as well. So uh, we're one club here and it's just great to see the girls get down here and um, probably have a bit of a sticky beak to see who may potentially be their teammates um, but also so just working really hard on, on themselves and wanting to improve. And with so much happening today, it was good to have one of our partners, Curtin, come out and help us. Yeah, Curtin uh, assisted us with all of our testing. Uh, they're they're a, a key to us um, holding this day. So, yeah, a fantastic partner of the club. And, you know, we certainly couldn't run a, a day like today without their support. So they're bringing a lot of knowledge to the table. Yeah, they're, they're experts in this area and, uh, and this field. So the more that we can uh, leverage off, off the experts, the better we'll be. Great. Thank you, Michelle. Great. Thank you very much, Tom.